You're still in the Warner Brothers family, Hard yes, Dixie to sur Surviving Jack, um, but this is a comedy. Yes, it so talk is. a little bit about the, the transition for you, you know, drama to comedy. I love comedy. I think it's really fun when you can be a female in comedy, especially um, one that is young, and I think it's really exciting when females are kind of dominating comedy, mm -hmm. because I look up to like Melissa McCarthy mm -hmm. and Sandra Bullock and all of those people, so I'm really pumped that I can be part of this family and be part of this exciting show because I'm excited for everyone to see it. Um, we had such a great time creating this family and this fun project and I'm really pumped for it this year. No, it is a 90s, you know, nostalgia comedy yes. and you're young. So what what do you remember about the 90s and what are you excited to discover about it through the show? Well, I've discovered a lot through the show. I discovered new music that I'm in love with new things that I wish we had nowadays, not having <laughs> like a cell phone what? sometimes. I really kind of wish we, I didn't have a cell phone sometimes. Oh, okay. Um, I loved the fact that life was kind of simpler, but I caught the tail end of the 90s, so I was 96. Okay. So I loved Britney Spears, <laughs> NSYNC, the Backstreet Boys, and what I remember about my 90s experience is I would wear a ring on every finger, and I would have like a tacky Burger King or like Claire's Boutique watch. Nice. And my favorite watch was this insane light up watch nice. that I would rock all the time. So I love the 90s, and with my character, the more 90s I could get, the happier I was. No, I mean, it is mostly told from your on screen brother's point of view. Mm -hmm. So we, we, in the pilot, we get to spend a lot of time with him going to a party, kissing a girl, learning to drive. What are some of the benchmark moments we'll get to see for you as the show goes on? As the show goes on, you'll see a lot more of Rachel, and you'll, you'll get to grow with her, and you'll get to see how she plays into the story and how she is the female version of Jack. Okay. There are definitely amazing Rachel and Jack moments as well as Rachel and her mom. Like experiencing that time when she's discussing, you know, about maybe losing her virginity or the moment when she's driving with her dad. And yes. It's it's really cool and um, I love the the scenes that Chris and I have together because our characters are so similar mm -hmm. that it makes it even more exciting off screen because it's just kind of silly and it's it's a blast. And now you sang on Heart of Dixie. I did. Have you talked to Bill? Do you, they does all he know? know that I sing. Okay. In the pilot, I sang a little bit. A little bit, but it's a not like bit. a you know moment of I you. I know. I know. So I think second season they'll definitely play into that. Rachel has many dreams, okay. especially she wants to be an MTV VJ, so nice. maybe that's something we'll experience <laughs> in the second season. Okay, and talk a little bit about working with your on-screen parents, Rachel and Chris. So exciting because they're such seasoned actors that being a young actor, actress myself, um, I learned so much from them. They're talented comedians as well as dramatic actors and, you know, I think just being on a set with great energy. They really held the show together mm -hmm. and when you have two leading parents that are as excited as like we were about the project and having Bill Lawrence and our right. amazing writers and Justin and Patrick, it was it, it was just such positive energy, and it was so exciting to like grow with the family and create, and um, it just was really fun. Great! All right, well, thank you so much. Congratulations! I know.